Hey everybody, hola como estas, how y'all doing, what's up? It's your girl, J. De La Guy, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my tattoos and my piercings. So before I jump into the video, I just want to establish a pain scale. So I'm going to be using the 1 to 10 scale, regular, you know, typical pain scale. But I just want you guys to keep in mind that everybody is different, everybody's pain threshold is different. And particularly for me, I see myself as having a high pain tolerance. So, you know, just keep all these things in mind when you guys go and watch this video. Don't come back to me like, Janae, um, I got a tattoo, or Janae, I got a piercing, and you told me it wasn't going to hurt, and it hurt. Cause that's not what I said. Um, I just said that it probably didn't hurt for me. So, now that that's been established, let's get into the video. I'm not going to talk about my ear piercings just because they're regular low piercings, not cartilage, and, you know, that goes without saying. It wasn't really painful and yeah so nose piercings i got my first nose piercing on the right and i pierced it myself the first time back in december junior year but then i took it out let it heal and got it re-pierced around my birthday in may of last year pain level i would say like a two three maybe it didn't really hurt that much my eyes did water a lot though but that was pretty much it the left side hurt way more for some reason and I got that in August of last year. And yeah. Um, for both of them, I did get keloids, which was annoying because I know for the right one, I definitely changed it way too fast. Um, I was just being fast for no reason. And yeah, I developed keloids, but I was able to get rid of them using like a combination of stuff. I don't even know which worked because I used so many things. Like I used aspirin, um, kosher salt, mix it with water, made paste, all that. And yeah, that was a long process. So definitely a piece of advice. Wait two months to change it. With the left one, I waited two months. Still got a keloid, but just to be safe, wait as long as possible. If you plan on having a patient for a long time, you should not be in a rush to switch the jewelry. Okay, so the next patient I have, um, not the next, but another patient I do have is my belly button piercing, which I got done in November of last year. And let me tell y'all, I was probably in OD, waiting, stolen being a baby about it because i'm like listen i'm not fat but i'm not a skinny girl and i'm looking at my stomach like that is a lot of skin that that needle's gonna have to go through and i'm just not ready for that like i really thought it was gonna hurt but the actual day that i got it i was laying there waiting for the pain to hit me and i'm looking at the guy like it's done like what's going on it did not hurt at all i would say pain level like a three two not even like, it was a small pinch and it was over. I was waiting for so much more pain to come, and that just wasn't the case. So, I'm actually upset with myself for waiting that long to get it, because it did not hurt like I thought it would. It didn't at all. Um, next person I have, I do have my nipples pierced. Um, they did not hurt. No, um, people think I'm crazy or they don't believe me when I say that, but for me personally, it did not hurt. I always compare it to an ear piercing in that it's a small pinch then it's over and similar to ear piercings you just have to do it twice or once if you want one but yeah you just have to do it twice um pain level i would say like a three four not really like it just it doesn't hurt it did not hurt for me um for the belly person and the nipple persons i would say that most of the pain is going to come from the upkeep and the taking care of it afterwards not from the actual piercing itself um, so that's it for piercings. Now onto my tattoos. First tattoo I got done was August of last year, August 17th to be exact. And it was a lotus flower. It is a lotus flower. And I just thought it was pretty and aesthetic. It has meanings in itself, but I personally just thought it was pretty. So I got it. Um, it was supposed to be higher up, like closer to my collarbone, but I kind of chickened out and told him to not put it up so far. Um, pain level, I would say... A five, con five, con five. Next person, woo. Next tattoo that I got um, was exactly a week later, August twenty fourth, and this tattoo is basically comm commemoration of my auntie that passed away. She passed away September eleventh, two thousand seventeen, and yeah, this is just a small piece of her. Her name was Flo her name is Florine. Um, call her Auntie Flo, so that's why. That's, that is what it is, Auntie Flo, Flo, with a cross, and yeah, I love you, Auntie, and miss you. Last but not least, the next tattoo that I got 
is um it's a quote from Robert Frost's poem Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening and the poem itself is about death and if you guys watched my last video you would know that I'm afraid of death so this quote is just you know a small piece of encouragement for me and a reminder that hey you have so much to do so much to accomplish so much to achieve before you do end up passing away so yeah this is just my small piece of you know encouragement like I said I look at it from time to time I'm just like listen you got so much great stuff to do so many great things to do before it is your time so yeah guys thank you for watching my video thank you for subscribing to all you guys who have subscribed already if you're new to my channel please do subscribe like and comment um guys let me know what you did or didn't like about this video give me feedback i am very appreciative of all your comments and yeah i'm out Adios.